Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, I would like to try using this graphic card from NVIDIA. This is the GeForce GT620 OEM with 512MB of DDR3 RAM and this one the TDP is around 30 watt, so I believe it still needs an external power adapter. So right here is a Zima board. It had a PCIe X4 slot just right here. And then this is the official recommended power supply from Zima board. This is a 12 volt and 3 m So totally we have 36 watt of power. And for the Zima board, I also connected a uh, SATA and I'm testing it with Windows 10. So first of all, I will connect my Zima board to my monitor to power it on first. And after that, we are going to try connect this one to it. Okay, let's do that. All right, so uh, this is the mini display port to HDMI adapter and this is the cable to my monitor. So I'm going to connect it like this and then connect the audience to my Zima board. Right, let's have a quick check. Okay. So let's powering on the ball. Okay, so we can see that the Ethernet port is light up and the power also light up. Alright, so this is the Zima board and you can see this is the mini display port to HDMI and then it is connected to this Dell monitor right here. And yes, I have another keyboard. This one and an external mouse. So let me try to log in. All right, so we can see that the screen resolution is full HD and we have the refresh rate is 99.940 Hz. Okay, so the display is detected at Dell P221H. Okay, so that's good. And now I'm going to power off the Zima board and then connect the external graphic card, which is the uh, G4 GT620. Alright, so the device has been powered off right here. So let's remove the power connector first. And then let me try to connect this graphic card to the Zima ball, just like this. There's a little bit of space, so I need to put something to hold it nicely. Right. So let's remove this adapter and directly connect the HDMI cable to this VGA. It should be like this. All right, everything looks ready. So now let's me connect the power adapter and let's powering on the Zima board. All right, so unfortunately, they no signal at all. So I think something is wrong. And actually, I have tried this before. If you are going to connect an external VGA, you need to either go to the BIOS to change the setting to external graphic card or you need to install the driver first. Alright, so let us me connect another USB cable to it, the network cable. Then connect back this adapter. Remove this one first. Then connect back. All 
Alright, so it's time to powering on the ball again. Alright, so this is the BIOS settings of the Zima ball. And to set this one, shortly after the device powering on, you can spam the delete key to go to this menu. So let's go to chipsets and then graphic configuration. So by default, the priority display is the integrated graphic device. Let's try to change to PCIe. Okay, I'm not sure if it works, but let's give it a try. So let's go to save and assist and then let's press cell change and assist. Okay. Yes. Perfect. So we start to see the signal coming out from the graphic card. Okay. So let's check it. All right, so this is the Jima board and this is the G4 GT620. The HDMI cable goes straight to my monitor right here. But unfortunately, window is not loading. And we can see that they are keyboard after window 10 had booted. All right, not sure what is going wrong. Let me see. So unfortunately, after powering on the Zima ball, I can see the window loading screen and then it's go to this point with a white mouse and then nothing at all. So let me give it another try. And this time I'm going to connect this one. All right. Oh, actually we see something up and running. We see some flickering. Perhaps window is trying to install the driver. All right, so they're not thing. All right, so now I'm going to connect back my monitor to the internal DP port of the Zima ball. And I'm going to install the driver inside Windows. And after that, I'm going to switch back to this one. And I have checked and confirmed that this will work. So let's do that. Alright, so this is the device managers. And then for the display adapter, I can see that the NVIDIA G4 GT620 device has been detected. And we can see that Windows has installed a rival for it. Let's go to property and let's check it. Right, so rivals, details and event, everything is working great. So let's give it a try by connecting the monitor to the graphic card. Alright, so now I'm going to remove the display port, actually the HDMI, and then connect it to my graphic card. But I will try not to break anything. Right, it's connected right now. Perfect. As you can see, we have something ongoing on the screen. So let's check the driver. Okay. Actually, I'm holding it with my one hand. So yeah. Okay. So we can see that there were like two display set up right here. I'm not sure where another one. But there should be two display showing up on this one. Let me go to star menu. I can see it's everything right here. Let me go to settings. Okay. So window and P. Okay, nothing is showing up. So I think that I need to remove this display port. Even though I have removed the display adapter to VGA, there's still two monitor connected to the Zima ball. And as you can see, if I open the settings or something, it is showing in another screen. And when I try to press the Windows and the P key to Configure the display is not showing. Oh, perfect. 
So actually, as you can see, uh, just now when I try to spam the control, uh, the window and the P key, it is showing up. So yep, it had detected two display. Okay. So one and the two. Okay. So let me do a quick reboot and let's see. Alright, we can see that window is loading. And yes, it should be showing off the screen shortly after this. Okay, that's good. Let's log in. So let's go to settings and let's check it out. Let's see setting right here. And then for system. And yes, we can see that a two monitor connected. And I don't know what it is one, but let's see. Let's go to the graphic setting. Okay, nothing. Let's go back and go to the SVN display settings. And yes, we have two display. As you can see the display one is the Dell P2219H, which is this current screen. And we can see that it's connected to the NVIDIA GeForce GT620, which is correct. And then there is another display two, Y display. It say that it is connected to the Intel HD Rapid 500, but there is no display connected to the DP port. Okay, so I'm not sure what is going wrong. But anyway, it is working right, and I'm going to give it some tests. All right, so let's go and check out the setting. So right now everything is very low. Let's repress OK and let's see. So with minions and player, two player setup. Now we have the FPS E38, 39. Alright. No, please. And when I try to change the graphic setting to low, let's hit OK and see. We can see that it starts on the loading screen. I'm not sure if the game crashed, but ah, okay, it just refresh. Let's buy some things. Alright, let's try to teleport to this one. And yep, we can see with the setting to lows, the FPS right now is 40. Actually, it's dropped to 37. Okay, so now let's change the graphic to uh, it say that's average load, but I'm not sure what it is settings in the English. Let's give it a try. So the FPS dropped to 35, 36. Okay, so now I know what's going on. So the character quality, um, average and then the environment quality is low low and low let's try to change it to average everything average the character qualities environment effects and also shadow oh chugat is killing me this is not good at all but okay so yes we can see that the FPF Drop to 18 and now it go up to 37. 
So I think that maybe because of the power consumption, uh, we only provide 36 watt of power to the Zima board. That's why we have this FPS. But let's see what is happening right now. So when we change the graphic setting to average, we can see that the FPS is 30. Um, so, so far, not a really smooth but at least we can play League of Legends and uh, others like normal game. Okay, so all of this were done with the Zima boards and the GT620 with uh, 512 megabyte of DDR3 RAM. Let's give it a last try. Let's change it to average high. Not sure if it's going to work, but let's do that. Alright, so we can see that the FPS is 30 with only one player and millions. And I'm really sure that when we have more players or when we had a compact, the frame is going to drop to maybe 20 or 15. So, yep, for high uh, graphic settings, it is not recommended. but falls and like every low it should work really well so that's all for this video thanks for watching and see ya